viewers and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro in your Kali host. So this video is for those who are permanently using the Kali Linux as the main OS in their PC or laptop or whatever. So I'm going to install the VMware Workstation in my Kali Linux. First of all, I'm going to fire up my Firefox ESR. So let's search. And then I'm going to search for VMware Workstation Property and here we are. Just click on the first link. And now as you can see I have two options, one is for the Windows and the other is for Linux, so I'm going to install the Linux. So all you have to do is to download this file, the bundle and after downloading it just go to your download folder, I have already downloaded it so I'm continuing. If you didn't download it just pause the video and first download it and then continue. So I'm going to the download folder and programs now here we are now i have the bundle file so for installing this bundle file i'm going to open my terminal and i'm going to minimize this as well and i'm going to say ls for listing and then to run this bundle it will ask for permission in height so for giving this permission we are going to say chmod plus x and for execution rights and now I'm going to again hit enter and as you can see it's saying extractors okay it says root access is required so for that I'm going to add sudo and now hit enter enter your password Now it says extracting VMware installer. So it's done. I'm going to zoom this in so you can see it more clearly. So this video is for the beginners who are just started using Kali Linux as their host. This may this will take some time. It's configuring. It's an eight percent completed. Thirty nine. Or so what I did I just simply type the command ls and then I listed the for the bundle just give it give them the execution rights and then use sudo and then the bundle and then hit enter it's almost getting ready I'm going to skip the video or fast forward it And as you can see, it's 70% completed, not 74, 75, 76, it's almost getting ready. So we are almost there. Extracting VMware installer and installing VMware applications 15.5.2. It's configuring 78%. So right now I'm using the latest version of Kali Linux, which is Kali Linux 2020.1b. It's almost getting ready, 
the reason why I installing VMware Ring Station or the reason why I use Kali as a host is that I am very fond of using Kali Linux. It's fast and secure better than the Windows. So it's 81 percent. And as you can see, I also practice my hacking skills on top tricks level one, level two, or there are many. files nine five nine six ninety seven ninety eight ninety nine and we are done hundred percent Yep, we are done. Now let's go here and search for VMware. And here we are, VMware Run Station installed successfully. Open it and then here we have the okay what we have here. It says before you can run VMware, several modules must be compiled compiled and loaded into the running kernel. Kernel headers by 0.5.0 dash Kali dash AMD 6 kernels for version 5.5.0 Kali or whatever were not found. If you install them in a non default path, you can specify the path below. Otherwise, refer to your distribution documentation for installation instructions and click refresh to start checking in default. So, so, guys, we are having the error of the kernel. So, all you have to do is to just simply copy this code it's sudo ap dash l install linux header and there is dollar sign new name dash r simply control a control cell also going to add this command into the description so you can just simply copy and paste it now control shift v to paste it and hit enter now, as you can see i have already installed after doing this we are going to again launch the vmware workstation click here and now you can see it says before you can run VMware, several modules must be compiled and loaded into the running kernel. Click, click install. Now it's asking for your password. As I am not using the root password, it will definitely going to ask me for the super user password. So I'm going to enter my password. Now this will configure it. Compiling and installing the following kernel modules. VM on and VM net. And we are done. Now accept it. I accept the terms in the license agreement and click next. Again, I accept the terms in license agreement. Click next. Would you like to check the products of late? No. It depends on you can just simply say yes if you want to. Now it does just say no for to join the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program. No. Next. Yeah, continue. Now this will ask for if I if you are using the root, just check before click next. Because I'm using no I'm just simply using another user, a simple user. So I'm going to add this. If you type here the wrong user you're definitely going to have issues in future so check before clicking on next clicking on next sorry and again next and yeah next now it says so let's say i want to try again your workstation 15 for 30 days I am going to add the license key on my Facebook page so you can just simply go on the page and you can just copy paste it. I am also going to add that into the description link as well. So just finish and now again it's asking for the password and 
something delicate and bingo we are done so we are here now you can just simply create a new virtual machines and whatever you want to do just do it so guys i hope you like this video and i hope you understand if you found or if you have any kind of issues just feel free to comment and thank you so much and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you